guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist. Today I wanted to do a video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats and in particular ectopic heartbeats and how they can cause dizziness or lightheadedness. Now one of my Facebook friends, Audrey Jo, asked this question. Um, she said, why do I get this feeling of or a rush of lightheadedness when I get my ectopics or why do I get this feeling of almost passing out or a head dip and some other people said uh, is it like a an elevator drop you know sudden drop uh, and you feel unsettled just because you think oh gosh what was that and that can be a really unsettling symptom um, and I thought I'd do a little video to try and explain why that happens when you get ectopic heartbeats. Now, it's important to realize that not all ectopic heartbeats are felt, and it may be that sometimes you don't actually feel the ectopic heartbeat, but the lightheadedness could be the only manifestation of this. Um, and the hallmark is it's very, very transient, very, uh, very short-lived, all right, um, lasts a second or so. So I'll try and explain why that happens. Uh, let's just try and explain to you what happens when the heart contracts. The heart contracts, so the heart fills with blood, all right, uh, and then it contracts. So it contracts and then it starts relaxing and filling with blood. So let's give you an example, all right. Th these are arbitrary figures. Heart's contracted and then it'll start relaxing. One, two, three, four, and contracts and relaxes. One, two, three, four, and contracts and relaxes, one, two, three, four. Now with a PVC, what happens is the heart contracts and then it starts relaxing, one, and then you get the PVC again. So the heart is now contracted again. But imagine how little blood there was just because it's only relaxed by one rather than going all the way to four. So there's only 25% of what you'd expect. So only 25% gets pumped out, 25% goes all over the body, the back of the brain is the furthest away, all right, uh, particularly if you're standing, it's the furthest away from the ground. So it's the hardest point to get blood to. And it's the most sensitive when you get any reduction in blood. And so the back of the brain gets less blood and instantly you feel dizzy, all right. Now what happens is you've pumped that blood out. Now the heart starts relaxing, 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 relaxing and pumps out a huge wad of blood and the dizziness goes away. And this is why people get dizzy when they get ectopic heartbeats, all right? And the interesting thing is that the dizziness is more prevalent, particularly when you're standing up because you are now counteracting the effects of gravity, but also if you are dehydrated, even if you're a little bit dehydrated, you are much more likely to feel dizzy. Why? Because you've got less blood anyway, all right? And then it's the amount of blood that's being pumped out because during the ectopic is so much less that uh, you will feel this. Now, the way to treat this or the way for it to, to improve this is to be really, really well hydrated, to be drinking lots of water. And if, as long as you don't have hideous high blood pressure, etc., making sure you're taking enough salt in your diet. Because if you have that, then what happens is that whatever you pump out is going to be more when you're overhydrated compared to when you're dehydrated. So you're a lot less likely to feel dizzy. Does that make sense? Basically, what I'm saying is, if you have a liter of blood, for example, these are just arbitrary figures. Let's say you have a liter of blood and you're pumping out a liter of blood, and during the ectopic, you're only gonna pump out 25% of that liter of blood, then you're only gonna get 25% into your brain. If, on the other hand, you have a liter and a half and you pump out 25%, that's still a lot more blood going to the brain, and therefore it's less likely that you would feel dizzy. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please keep the comments coming. Please keep sharing the videos. I'm always uh, enthused to hear from you. My workload means that I can't answer everyone's requests straight away, but I do try and get to them. I know that I promised Leah a video on slow heart rates, and I will try and get that done sometime on Saturday, hopefully. Uh, but I can't promise. So um, I'll try my hardest, but um, I hope this answers Audrey Joe's question and it hopefully it answers uh, those people who have wondered why they get lightheaded intermittently when they get their ectopic heartbeats. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you want to uh, visit my website, please uh, visit www.yorkcardiology.co.uk. 
Uh, if you'd like to join my Facebook page, then uh, you can look for yourcardiology at gmail.com in your Facebook browser and you should find my uh, Facebook page and also you can send me an email and I'll try and get around to answering them all. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any ideas for videos, please let me know and all the best. Take care.